what's good youtube welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial on how to make a simple but cute intro using canva um everything i used was free um i used a couple of different apps so we can get straight to it so i opened the app canva click the purple plus sign and then i click um the size i wanted and then i went straight to my camera roll and added a black background <clears throat> excuse me and then i added the tv i got this tv from off of pixar i just typed in pixar i mean i just typed in vintage tvs in pixar and then i saved it um this is me just moving the tv how i like it and then i went and found the heart that i used um i used about three or four maybe i don't know i don't remember how much i used um and this is me just moving the tv how i want it and then placing the hearts how i want it um you're gonna see me um add them on top of each other some of them are gonna be smaller some of them aren't um but y'all i've been missing i know i've been missing i'm gonna get back on the grind of making my videos i had this video in the chamber for a month but i had a lot of stuff going on but anyways 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 back to the video at hand so this is me just tilting the hearts um in opposite directions from each other and then i added the video of her if y'all don't know this is noonie 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 i think that's how you say it um don't do this. She's very pretty, and I decided I'm going to just use her as an example. As y'all know, I do intros of YouTubers or big influencers, small influencers, or whatever. So, I decided to pick her this time. This is me just trying to crop the video um, how I like it to act, to fit the background of the video like to fit inside the tv so this is me just moving it around or whatnot um i didn't uh crop the video or anything i just left the video how it was um and then this is me adding her youtube name and i think i did white yeah, I did white, if I'm not mistaken. I used um, two different fonts. That's why I didn't just put her name all together. Um, all the fonts that I used were free. Um, I think this is the neon, neon font or something like that along those lines. And then I went and I added the second part of her YouTube name, which is Dior. Um... And then I think I changed it to like a thin font. I changed it. Oh no, I used piece. Okay, never mind. And then this is me just basically moving her name how I want it. You don't necessarily have to follow every single step that I do. You can switch it up and add your own little flavor, you know, change up the color, theme, whatever, whatever. But this is what I decided to use. And now I'm adding animations to the little hearts. I also got these hearts from, well, I had to um, cut it out basically, but I got it off of Google and then I went to Pixar and erased everything that I didn't want so it could be transparent or whatever. And now this is me just adding animations to all the hearts to see how I like it. And then I added animations to her name. I mean, not animations. I added, yeah, animations. Then I added animations to her name to both parts, the Nuni and then the Dior. They both were different. As you can see, I kept clicking on the wrong one. And then this is me just saving it so I can start on the next part. Okay. 
Okay, now we're moving on to the second part. Basically repeating the steps in the beginning from the first part, which is starting a whole new project, and then going and adding your background color. Um, make sure it's covering so you don't see any white. And then I added the cell phone. I added two phones for this part. But the first part is to um, add her Instagram. So this is me just moving and placing the phone how I like it. I didn't want it. I wanted you to be able to see the whole phone. So now I'm still kind of moving the phone in the place that I want it. And then this is me looking for the video of her Instagram and I couldn't find it. So I had to go into my camera roll to see if I seen it to make sure I didn't delete it. And then I was like, okay, here it go. And then I went back and I was like, wait. And then boom, there it was in my face the whole time. So right here, you're gonna see me kind of struggle a little bit, but not too much, not really. Um, because I wanted it. Oh, never mind. I guess I didn't struggle at all. Excuse me. Then I added the second phone. Um, the second phone was a little smaller than the first one. Um, this is me just moving it all the way up against the other phone. So they kind of like blend in or whatever. And once I did that, then I added... Um, her TikTok information. Like, I went, how I did it was I screen recorded her TikTok. And then I clicked on different videos for like a couple seconds and then, you know, switched. But then I clicked the three lines and then I clicked move back. So the video will go behind the phone instead of on top of it. So you'll be able to see the phone. And then I was just making the phone a little bit bigger, just a little bit. And then I went and I added the heart. I added the heart on above the phones. I tilted it a little bit and then I made it a little bit smaller. And then I added another one to go on top of that one. And I also made it smaller and I also tilted that one in the opposite direction of the first one. Um, and then I went and I added text. I had to change the color so I can be able to see the words. And this theme is black and white. And the text is going to say, um, with me. It's really going to say connect with me, but this was the main part. So I had to add this first because it goes in the middle. And then this is me looking for the um, thing too, so I can be able to move it around without using my finger. I had to make it a tad bit smaller. And then this is me just moving it, playing around with it to get it where I like it. And then I added connect, went to font. Oh, I had to delete it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is me adding it again because I didn't capitalize it. And then I went to font and then I used the, the neon font. Um, I think that's what it's called. And then I'm just placing that on top. And then I went and I added her Instagram, her Instagram and her TikTok name. I don't know. I don't know if she'd be on Twitter. I couldn't find her Twitter, so I didn't add Twitter. And I don't know if people still be on Snapchat, so I didn't add Snapchat. And so, yeah. And then this is me just adding her Instagram name. I think it's like Asia or something like that. Asian, As I don't know. Don't get me to lying. But um, this is me just trying to move it, move both of the um, Instagram and her name in the same place where I want it and how I like it. Now, boom, this is me adding TikTok. 
I got both of these logos from Pixar. I just typed in Instagram logo and then I typed in TikTok logo. And these are the ones that pop up. They have many choices and colors. So that's how I got those. Now I'm going back to text and I'm adding her TikTok name. So um, I didn't change the font because I liked how it was. So I didn't change it. And now this is me moving everything more to the other side so her name can actually fit. Um, this is me moving the TikTok sign, making it a little smaller also. And then this is me clicking her name, moving it, trying to make sure I like it and you can be able to see it. And then boom. Now this is me adding her youtube name um i didn't want the bottom to be bare so i decided to change it this is me looking to see what kind of font i want and this is the font i use y'all can tell that i do love this font um and then i was like eh, i do want to change the font so i ended up changing the font or whatever and now this is me just moving her name where I want it in a certain place. Now I'm going back to my camera roll and I'm adding the heart. And I added it right next to the connect because it was like kind of bare. And I wanted something to go right there. And I feel like it made it look much, much, much better, which it did. Um, so this is me just moving everything and now i'm going to add animations to everything or to the things that i want it to have animations um certain animations you have to pay for certain things you want to do with the animation you have to pay for and as y'all currently know i am not paying for canva at this current moment so some things you have to pay for some things you don't um the fonts i used and the settings I changed them to, I didn't have to pay for it. Everything that you've seen in this video, you do not have to pay for. So that was a plus. And then this is me just looking at over everything and now I'm saving it to my camera roll. And voila, you're done with the second part. See you in part three. Okay, now you save it to your camera roll and once you do that, you repeat the same step from part one and part two, start a whole new project. So I always use the YouTube thumbnail cause it's the size um, for YouTube. And this is me adding the last part, which you know is the black background. Now, this is me going to text. This is me changing the color and now I am adding the word I'm adding her name and now after I added her name I went to text and I changed the font to the neon then I went back to font change I added the word Dior and then I changed the color to white so you can be able to see it and now and then i was like mm, don't really like that because that's not the one i used found the one i used and then i was like boom we got it we wanted something so now this is me just making her name bigger or smaller and basically moving it to where i want it and um and how far apart i wanted them how if i wanted in the middle side whatever this is me just moving it around. And now, now I'm going to elements. And then I found this little um, circle round thing or whatever. And I liked it and I was like, okay, I'm going to use it. And then I added the YouTube logo. Um, I got it from, I either got it from here 
or I got it from Pixar. I don't remember which one I used. I'm pretty sure I got it from here off of Canva. And now this is me just moving it how I want it. If I want it to be all the way in the front, not, whatever. And now I'm going back to text and I'm adding the word subscribe. I had to change the font first so I can be able to see it. And now I'm adding the word subscribe. But I did it in all caps. If you didn't know, almost everything was in all caps in this video. This is me changing the font to the font I like. And I was like, okay, boom, I like it. But I got to make it a little bit bigger. So then here I go get the moving stuff. Get the moving stuff or whatever. And I push the subscribe logo back. Well, the YouTube logo, not the subscribe logo. I pushed the YouTube logo back. And then this is me just moving her name, trying to make it a little bit bigger or whatever. So I could stand out. And I was like, uh, I mean, I got to move it over a little bit. Move it down a little bit. And I got to move the words. I was like, uh. That's the thing about me. If I see something I don't like, I'm going to fix it. No matter if it's small or not. Now, this is me adding another word. I had to change the color. And the words that I added was like lifestyle, beauty, and all that. Like different things that you will see on her YouTube channel. But I added or whatever so this is me just making sure everything's capitalized and then adding the lines in between or whatever that's what it was it was fashion it was beauty lifestyle fashion then i made it a tad bit smaller and then i went to spacing and then i spaced them out i was like oh this is this look good this look real nice or whatever and then i'm adding animations to whatever i want uh to move which was her name. And I wanted the words at the bottom to also move like that. And I was like, boom, we onto something. And then I saved it. And I was like, okay, good. So, so far, you've completed all the steps and you're done with the whole making the whole YouTube intro. Now, we're going to go into CapCut. So once we go into CapCut, we're going to add all three of the videos that we did. Then we're going to add it and we're going to crop how long you want your video to be. What am I doing right here? Y'all, let's see what I'm doing right here because I don't even remember. I had this video like a month ago. Uh, okay, pause. I had to go back because, like I said, if I see something I don't like, I'm going to fix it. So I had to go back and I had to crop the video. I had to make the video a whole different size because I did not like... I did not like how I couldn't see her full face. Yes, okay, now I remember doing this. Okay, okay. Y'all... I did not remember doing this part. I had this video for like a month. I had a lot of family stuff going on and other stuff. I didn't have time to edit. But now I'm editing. So then I saved it. Did I save? Okay, boom. Now we're saving it. Got it. Now we're going to go to CapCut. We're going to exit out of this. Start a whole new project. Save the video that you just saved. So we'll save. Click all three videos. Boom. Cut it down to about six seconds. You can do more if you want a long intro, but you know. Then cut it again to about six seconds and then cut the last one. And also make sure if you use CapCut, delete the black video at the end. And then boom. I also I kept making it a little smaller because I didn't want it to be too too long or whatever. So I was like, okay, these are like good sizes. And then this is me going and adding transformations to each part of the video so it moves. And then I had to turn the volume down on the videos because I didn't want to get copyrighted and I didn't want the sound playing. So I added um two different ones since I only had three videos 
Um, and this is me just playing it out to see if I like it. And I was like, okay, yeah, girl, you did your thing. I didn't want to add music because I didn't know what kind of music I wanted to put behind it. Once you do that whole step, you're basically done or whatever. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media platforms. I'm coming back with the bangers. Um, if you guys want me to make you YouTube intros, YouTube banners, YouTube outros, anything, um, you can DM me. It'll Both of my Instagrams will be in the descri description box down below. Um, I have a business Instagram, then I have a personal Instagram. Um, I would probably see it in my personal Instagram before I see it in my business or whatever. But I prefer you guys to DM me in my business. And with that being said, I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.